Hi everyone, I'm Tatsuki. This channel gives you information about Japan's history and culture. I've already uploaded some videos such as Nobunaga Oda, who is one of the most famous samurai lord, a uh, major era when Japan changed dramatically, and religion in Japan, uh, and so on. I'm gonna shoot more videos and improve them, uh, so it'd be great if you checked out. But I haven't introduced myself and talked about why I started this channel up until now. So let me talk about myself and the reason. I know it's kinda too late to do it, uh, but stay with me for a few minutes. Okay, so let's get started. First, I was born and raised in Iwate, Japan. It's in northeast region. Iwate is famous for three noodles, uh, jajumen, ramen, and wagsoba. They are really tasty, and especially it's not an exaggeration to say that jajumen is like a soul food to people in Iwate. And there are a large limestone cave and a world heritage, Chusonji. Mm, I'm thinking about making a video about Iwate. Anyway, I was raised in such place until graduating from high school. And then I entered the faculty of engineering in Yamagata University. Yamagata is the name of the prefecture where there is a university. So I've always been living in northeast region. Uh, by the way, I've actually played handball from junior high school, so I joined a handball club in the university as well. I've only played handball or workout every day without studying in my university life until entering a laboratory. Students in my department can enter each level from the second semester of junior year. Uh, my research was about organic LED, OLED, and I've been continuing it. Current theme is different from previous one though. For some reasons, I've been addicted to the research, and I thought studying is fun for the first time in my life. OLEDs have been expected to be the flexible light source and create new values, however, uh, there have been the issue of the device efficiency due to low at oh, sorry uh, I wanna shoot the video of my research anyway I've enjoyed the research so much and made some achievements and I joined many international conferences these were really good opportunities but really hard for me simultaneously because I had never experienced such events speaking English I joined seven or eight international conferences in including small one, uh, but I was not able to make a presentation satisfied myself even once. I was really frustrated, so I was taking online English lessons when I was a second year master's student. I learned the basic of English to a certain extent, uh, but I'm not still good at speaking English. And I have been feeling another issue I didn't know about Japan at all. Uh, when I talked with international students at the conferences and the tutors in the lessons, uh, the talk about but each hometown always came up. Uh, they all knew their countries well and explained them in detail. I felt they understood their identity well. Compared to them, I was not able to explain Japan at all. Uh, I've never thought what Japan is like and what Japanese people are like. So I got very embarrassed when I talked with them, and I've been thinking about learning Japan's history and the culture. In addition, I realized many people were interested in Japan through the conversation with with the international students and the tutors. I thought they were wanting to know Japan more deeply, so I came up with an idea that meets the needs studying English, learning Japan, and their interest in Japan. That is YouTube. I thought I could improve my English, learn Japan, and offer information about Japan at the same time uh, through making videos of Japan's history and the culture. That's why this channel was established. So I want you to point out my mistakes in my English and let me know what you want to know about Japan. Let's study together. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll keep making more videos, so please check them out. Okay, so see you next time.